Hi everyone, and welcome in the next video on the open world audio system. So, in this one we'll talk about the time of day changes. At first I want to show you what that basically means. So, um, let's press play. You'll hear some music, some wind, and you can see the sun going down. So soon it will become night. And when night comes, the audio will actually change into different audio, so different music, and different ambience. So it's now we're a lot more dark and the wind's more intense because it's windy at night here. <laughs> Alright, you get the point. So what has been done? In the sky sphere there's a setup and it calls two events. One to change it tonight and one to change it today. And that tells the uh, so if you need to add this to your own skybox, just look in the BP Sky Sphere and uh, you'll you this is fairly basic, so you'll be able to apply this to your own skybox. And then in the audio manager, it's like, okay, event update time of day, and then this is how long it should blend. It's very basic. And uh, you can easily add more, so you can add dusk and dawn, just have different settings. Now, what do you need to do to add this to your sounds? Because if we look at this audio area, it just has two. It has an audio ambient and time of day song. That's it. So inside of those, we use a crossfade by parameter. Before I started working on this, I did not know what this was, but I'm very happy that I do now. So basically, this parameter is changed in the blueprint, and you need to call it time of day. So you can just do crossfade by param, select it, and call it time of day. And then this would be the night, and this would be day. Wait, I can easily check that here. Yeah. Yeah, oh, there we go. Day. Uh, that's enough. Stop. So, you need to make sure that it fades in at zero for the day and fades in to one for the night. And that's all you need, really. You can just set up one music here, one music there. That's it. I also use it for combat to go from tension to combat. So you can either detect is the player character in combat or are there enemies nearby. And in the demo map I check if there are enemies nearby. And if there are enemies nearby I switch to the combat music. But that doesn't mean that the combat is already um, the combat music should already be playing. Because in this case we use a combat crossfade by param. And then this it starts with tension. But if there's an enemy, if there's really an engaged enemy, so enemy fighting you, it will switch to uh, the combat variant, which is this one. So just use the crossfade to blend between those. And they are both pretty simple to expand upon. And they can be found in the audio manager in the top right. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.